out of Winston-Salem. And uh, I'm sure we'll be talking with winemakers there and, and getting kind of the inside scoop. So, again, we're on this journey with you guys. We're trying to learn about North Carolina wine. We're trying to uh, talk, uh, try as many North Carolina wines as we can, uh, meet people making wine in North Carolina, uh, wine store owners who maybe have their own thoughts and opinions about North Carolina, anything we can do to educate ourselves and, and in turn educate you guys. So if, if you are a winery or you are a wine store, wine distributor, uh, we're in the Triangle area, that's Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, in the central part of the state. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. There's contact information uh, probably right below us. Yeah, right below, right beside. <laughs> you can look all around the, the, the blog. It's, it's everywhere. So get a hold of us. And Jeff, let's get to the wine. Okay. So West Bend Riesling. What do you think of the packaging? Well, the first thing I have to say is if you make a Riesling and you put it in a blue bottle, and I call this cobalt blue. I would call that cobalt blue as well. Uh, it's, sure. it's not only one of my favorite colors, it's one of my favorite colors of wine bottles. <laughs> so, so that scores big points for me. They know, enough, they know enough at the West Bend Vineyard to put a Riesling in a blue bottle, because that is, that is how they commonly are packaged. I, and I will say a fun fact about me, summer job in high school, worked at a glass factory. Know all about different colors of glass, cobalt, love it. Uh, traditional Riesling body style, you know, taller, thinner bottle style bottle instead of the short, the stocky red wine bottle. Um, we'll, we'll check out the cork here. They've got the logo printed and, you know, the website, phone number. They do a good job packing the cork full of information, but it is the, the artificial cork, the plastic cork, not the real cork. So it's a little cheap feeling. Would have, would have loved to have seen the real cork, but you know, that may have helped them keep their costs down and, and, and offer this. What is our price point the on this lovely Riesling? The price point is $14.99, and I purchased it at Whole Foods. Um, as, as this show goes on, we're obviously going to buy wine at at different stores so we can have different price points and sort of see where we go. And I'm, and I'm sure the price points vary by several dollars store to store, but you know, you're probably looking somewhere between $12 and $17 for you this recent, depending on your store in your neighborhood. And looking at the label, there's a, there's a line drawing actually of what looks like a, a large cabin with a porch, mm -hmm. rather than the, a lot of wineries traditionally put the, the vineyard itself. Well, there looks like some, there's some vineyard, vineyard around the cabin. It's, it's kind of folksy, there's, there's a nice you know, kind of edge to the label. They, they, Definitely a sharp label. The silver detailing is nice. I, overall, I, I'm impressed by the packaging. I think this, you know, would rival packaging from from any other state right. or region. Uh, definitely catch my attention on the shelf. So good job to the folks at West Bend from a packaging standpoint. Okay. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I think we'll try it. And I guess I'll pour this time. He's pouring this time. And uh, you know, I like Rieslings a lot. Rieslings are normally a pretty crisp, clean white wine. They normally have some minerality to them. They're normally, traditionally, very good with spicy food. Mm -hmm. Asian food, Indian food, uh, spicy ethnic food, Rieslings are normally very good, good with. And sometimes Rieslings can be sweet and sometimes they can be dry. I would, I'm assuming this is a dry Riesling. We'll find out in a minute. And, and just before we go any further, since this is the episode where we reveal early jobs about ourselves. <laughs> I went there. I, I actually worked as a waiter and I served wine. And the most important thing I learned as a waiter serving wine is when you open the bottle, never set the bottle down on the table. You take your wine opener and you do it in the air. So I have a skill. I can open wine in the air now. That's a pretty special <laughs> gift. Yeah. Why? Yeah. So I think it's time to try some wine. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I'm looking at it. it. It's it's kind of a yellowish clear though. It's, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not very. It's almost like a silvery kind of color. Okay. It's not that yellow. Um, let's, let's, let's smell in here a little bit. Take a smell. It smells pretty fruity. Mm -hmm. It does it smell smells, fruity. It smells pretty delicious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Well, and we picked a Riesling today because the weather is getting warm. Yeah, it's springtime here in North Carolina. Uh, yeah. Weather's getting warm means white wines are, should, are probably flowing in m most people's houses, probably your house. That's right, and, and Riesling is a great spring and summer wine. Well, let's try it's it. Pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it actually is. It is on the dry side rather than on the fruity side. It's it's slightly sweet though. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. they, it it kind of smells like 
I don't know if, if you, about you, but when I was a kid, <laughs> I, I kind of had a sugar problem. I would take apples and I would dip them in honey. Uh -huh. I thought that was like the best thing. And that's what this smells like. It kind of tastes like to me. It smells it's like apples apple. and honey. Who knows? That's, okay. that's, that's what it does. I okay, so, so here on episode two, we're continuing the Kip tradition of odd analogies as they relate to wine. Well, you know, apples and honey, that's what it, what it, what it smells and kind of tastes like. The sugar makes me like it, though. Mm -hmm. The sugar makes it delicious. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not sweet. Right. It's not sweet it's at not all. It, it finishes dry, but it's, mm -hmm. I would call it like a semi-dry. Okay. It's not like, you know, you're not puckering, right? You know, your mouth is not dry finishing it, but it, it's not like so sweet that you're like, oh, I only want like this much because it's like syrup or anything right. like that. that. That's not the case. Overall, though, I mean, very delicious. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Break it down, Mr. Kelly. What, what, do I have to give it a number? Is that bad? No, no, no. I mean, what, what do you think? Would you buy it again? Is it a good value? Um, hmm. I'm enjoying it. We are drinking it cold. Yes. Just because we think you guys drink cold, white wine's cold as well. There's nut job wine tasters who drink white wine warm. Forget it. You know, drinking it cold, that reminds me of a story. <laughs> I, I, see, I see where this video show is going. It's going down memory lane. That, that's right. This, this is, you're going to find out, not only are you going to find out about North Carolina wine, some great, some not as great, you're going to find out about North Carolina Vineyards, the back rows of North Carolina. I definitely yeah. see this happening. Oh yeah, North Carolina stories are going to be bound by this wine. You're probably going to find out a lot about Kip and I <laughs> as we sit down, drink wine, and talk about it. Because yeah. that's that's what wine does. Just wait till we do like eight shows <laughs> in one day. <laughs> that's right. By the eighth show, you're going to know everything. But this afternoon, after I bought this wine, I, I said to a friend of mine who... He's actually a chef, and I said, I have this bottle of wine, and I need to drink it tonight, but it's not cold. How do I get it cold? I said, should I put it in the freezer mm -hmm. to get it cold quick? Mm -hmm. And the first thing he said to me is, he said, no, air does not conduct. He said, get a container and put ice and water and salt. Just like you would make homemade ice cream. That's right. That's exactly right. And... It cooled it down no time? It did. It, 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 came, <laughs> it came when I met, met Jeff this evening, and to, before the show. It was ice cold when, right. when you handed it to me. So it is at a very nice temperature now yes. and, and highly delicious. Mm -hmm. This is definitely ranks up as one of the best North Carolina wines that I've had mm -hmm. uh, in my limited experience. Right. Very tasty. I think a very, very good summer white wine. And, and a very good example of a Riesling. Yeah, I, I think it... It, it, it shows through real well. It's crisp. It's clean. It's mm -hmm. just a little sweet. There's fruit going on. It, it, it's a really strong bottle of wine. I think it's worth the fifteen dollars. Yeah. I think I think it is a good value. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would if it was like ten dollars, it would be awesome. It'd be yeah. off the charts good. But at fifteen dollars, mm -hmm. I think it's a good value. Yeah. And def, definitely a wine. I'll, I'll be. I got one. I would probably buy a bottle or two of this this summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely wine that I will have again. Very yeah. impressed by it. Yeah. So. Big shout outs to the folks at West Bend Vineyards. They've made a great Riesling. Yep. I'm sure they make some other types of wine. We'll be trying them on, on future episode. If you're out there and you're a winemaker, contact us. We'd love to try your wine. You know, we know not all the wine in North Carolina is distributed to grocery stores and, right. and wine shops, so we want to go to the wineries directly and try as many different types of wine as we can. 